my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel i just got back from my haircut appointment and your girl got some sort of bang and is it gonna focus you know i'll show you in the other mirror let me show you in this other mirror i kind of got some kind of waterfall bang it's we'll work on it back to you guys there we go so i picked up this box from the post office that has my new iphone 11 wow so a few weeks ago i ordered it online my mom and i woke up very early to purchase the new iphone 11 the morning it came out so now my iphone 11 has arrived and i thought i would do a little unboxing for you kind of show you you know what it looks like i literally haven't even taken it out of the box and the suspense it's killing me i want to know what's inside i say we just open this box and let's get on with this video and yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do that right now and turn on your hashtag notifications so you never miss out on any of my positive content. So let's get this going. <gasps> okay, so I just wanna thank God. I wanna thank Jesus. <laughs> so I ordered this clear, just glitter case off of Amazon. It came like in two days. Love Amazon, thank you guys. I wanted something just to have my phone in immediately because I'm the kind that will be a little clumsy and drop it and well that's not fun watch me for the next few minutes struggle to open up this box oh gotcha okay this tape was holding it down oh wow that that baby sure is in there So when I first got my iPhone 10, which is what I currently have, I was not doing YouTube. Or I mean, I was still like doing social media, but so with YouTube, you're constantly just wanting to capture everything on video. And originally I did not have this camera. This was kind of something I got along the way. And I think my parents saw like I was serious about YouTube. And so that's when we purchased what I am filming on right now. So I was filming a lot of my videos on my iPhone and it just did not have the kind of space that I needed for filming. So I was like, man, I would love a new phone that has like a lot of gigabytes. So I have a lot of space. I did a video of what's on my iPhone, my iPhone 10, um, a while back. I'll link that down below in case anybody just wants to watch it. So I, I read the back of the box and it basically says that this color is called Midnight Green. I think it's really pretty. Obviously we're gonna See what it looks like. We do a first look in a second, but here is the box. Let's open it. Ugh. That was satisfying for me. Ooh. 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 Wow. Wow, that does look really neat. But this is actually like a really pretty, like cool tone green. Like it's not like in your face. Let's see what else is in the box. Here, we're gonna pull this out. I'm guessing this could be like some directions in here. I thought these, I was looking at these and I'm like, did Apple give me AirPods? No, they didn't. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, these are like the regular headphones. We're just gonna open them up. Wow, perfectly coiled headphones. <laughs> Not anymore. These are gonna be so messed up. I mean, I'll take good care of them, mom. It also comes with this this new kind of plug. My dad was explaining this to me because he's had, for so many years, he's had the same phone and it's just, it was so old. So we finally got him a new phone as well. And he was explaining to me basically that like, the cable's different now, but like, apparently all the new like, adapters that go into the wall that charge your phone, this is all what they look like now. It's not the normal like USB look. It's like what your computers look like if you have an Apple computer. So that means also the back of this charger looks different as well. Here we go. I didn't want to waste any time because I wanted to start using my iPhone immediately. So I set up things like Face ID, you know, everything you got to set up to obviously start using your new phone. 
Face ID is now set up. So it's later in the day, as you can see, and I finally got my phone basically fully activated. And I thought I would show you a little bit of just like what's on my new iPhone. As you can see, this is the clear glitter case that I got off of Amazon. I think it's super cute. I have all the same little cutouts in the back as my last phone. I just put maybe one new one that says you are enough because you know, I got a song called good enough coming out sooner than you think. But trust me, the wait will be worth it. Anyway, let's move on to the phone. So this is just my, oh, okay. Um, so this is just my current background. I just picked something random off Pinterest, which is basically some palm trees. So when we're gonna swipe up, I'm gonna put in my password really quickly. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like when you open up my cell phone. Let's see, obviously we are on 18%, so we're gonna make this kind of quick. Um, but if you saw my last video of what's on my iPhone, I'm sure you will like this one too. We obviously have YouTube, Instagram, TikTok because I use these quite often. Looking for some makeup, outfit, inspiration, want to learn how to cook a certain meal, I don't know. Just download Pinterest, it's literally incredible for everything. So here I also have Waze because, you know, I've only been driving for like about a year and I still need some help with directions. I've also got my... Um, photo and video apps. Um, these are just some ones that I use pretty frequently. Uh, we are still a Visco queen. I used to use Lightroom, but I'm kind of going back to Visco. Here's my photos. Not everything got synced, but that's okay. I'm not really super duper attached to photos. So um, here I've also got some entertainment. Obviously these are not like all the apps I feel like I had on my old phone. I kind of just thought of everything that I needed right now. Like everything that was off the top of my head that I could think of, I downloaded. So here for entertainment, I got Twitter, Facebook, Xfinity Stream, Netflix, Apple TV, TV. Apple TV came with the phone. It was like downloaded when I opened the phone. So I haven't really like played around with it. I don't really know. I know that I like have Apple TV in like somewhere in my house when my TVs has it, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. I feel like Twitter and Facebook are social media apps that I don't use as frequently as like Instagram, TikTok, Google tools. These are just some random ones I downloaded. I love Grammarly. If you don't have it, get it. Kindle is something I use all the time for school with like, instead of having the actual hard copy of holding the book in your hand, I love to have it on my phone as an ebook. So check that out. I've got Microsoft Word because my Lone Star, like my college, we feel like we're using Word like all the time. So that's a great one. My camera. Yes, I'm a Starbucks addict and that's that is why it's on my home page. I also am one of those people that doesn't like to have other pages, so I have just the one. Got that Live 360 because my mama always wants to know where I am. It's okay though, I accept it. Got my voice memos, my notes, because as a singer, I feel like I'm always getting a new song and man, does those help. I've got my calendar, just got some random apps in here like my gym app, <laughs> my weather app, Amazon car, Amazon Alexa, all that good stuff. And finally got settings and just my contacts. So there's really not much else. Let's go to my Instagram, actually. I would love to know what was the last thing I posted. Oh, a selfie. No. Let's go to the last cover I shared. Let me share this with you guys. We've been working on this a long time. We're trying to figure it out. The truth from all of the lies. We've been running around. Okay, yeah, y'all gotta check it out for yourself. So that's basically it. Now let's cut to my outro. I hope that you guys loved this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all of my social medias. They're always linked down below. Turn on your hashtag notifications so you never miss out on any of my positive content. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not an ASMR channel? Whoa. Breathe slow, baby